Hi everyone, it's wonderful to connect with you again this week. Um, I'm joining you outside on this beautiful, beautiful day, um, and I'm on a swing set, and I'll get to why in a little bit. Um, this Sunday, we're going to be um, looking at starting the book of 2 John. So we wrapped up 1 John uh, after, a, after six weeks there. We're going to spend two weeks in 2 John. So 2 John's not a large book. It's such a small book, but we're just going to look at the first uh, six verses uh, in, in 2 John. And uh, I'll, I'll read a few of them as John brings us into, he, he references uh, truth and he references love several times in this passage as he goes back and forth uh, with these two concepts. And so uh, this is what we're going to look at today uh, and, and more on Sunday. So I'll read verses, 2 John uh, verses 4 to 6. It has given me great joy to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as the Father commanded us. And now, dear lady, I am not writing you a new command, but one we have had from the beginning. I ask that we love one another, and this is love, that we walk in obedience to his commands. As you have heard from the beginning, his command is that you walk in love. John talks about both of these spots of, of truth and love and how, how, how the, the people of the early church he knows are walking in truth, but that also he knows that we are called to um, walk in love, which was the command uh, all the way from the beginning. It's not a new command, but it's one that Jesus re-identified for us, right? Um, so he talks about love and truth, um, and so often in our world, um, we hold love and truth as, as uh, theological stances at times, where some theological arguments hold on to truth as, as the ultimate thing, and others hold on to love as the ultimate source for their argument. And really, it's not one or the other. It's together. It's the two together. So it takes me back to... Um, the Bob Goff quote I, I shared a couple weeks ago in a sermon of um, where he says, don't let being right talk you into not being kind or talk you into being unkind. And this is what um, we've done uh, even in the church at times with, with holding on to truth at all costs or holding on to love at all costs. They come together and when they're separate, um, they're just partially um, where we need to be. Um, and so that brings me to why we're, I'm on the swing set. It's kind of like, you know, you have a swing and, and it's right and it's fun and you have a swing set and it's right and it's fun. But if they aren't attached together, they aren't going to be fully uh, used or fully as enjoyable, right? And so it's this coming together of truth and love of the swing and the swing set being together um, where we get the full picture and the full command of, of, of where Jesus is asking us, uh, where John is calling us to remember that Jesus asked us to live uh, this new command of, of truth and love together, uh, which we know is loving and compassionately pursuing the people around us uh, in a responsible way, uh, not in a hurtful way. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. Uh, can't wait to connect with you again on Sunday. Again, we're here uh, 9.30. Uh, we are in person or you can catch us online anytime. Uh, you can catch us live at 9.30 um, or you can find any of our, our, our sermons uh, and, and worship services later as well. Um, hope you all have a wonderful week uh, and it's wonderful to connect with you again.